third-party nesting of updated parts. Ship Constructor and Enterprise Platform allows you to track updates and export the end products of the design phase easily. Ship Constructor can track all the changes made to your design and then export those parts in the format required by your third-party nesting platform, while Enterprise Platform allows you to automate and control the process in the method that your company requires. For this example, I will be modifying plate parts from a project and exporting them into a format that can be used by third-party nesting platforms. For a methodical way to track changes to your Ship Constructor project, we use change tasks. First, a change task is created and assigned to the user. Next, as the user who is assigned to the task, we begin working on the task. This can be set up as a requirement for your project so that you cannot work on the project without having an assigned task. Next, we will make our changes to frame 52. We'll add the cutouts required as per the task. With our task completed, we can flag it as such. Ship Constructor requires the plate parts to be nested in a nest drawing. In this example, the parts have already been prepared for export. However, if during a design change a new part is created, it will have to be added to a nest for it to be exported. Updates to existing nested parts are carried out by the Enterprise Platform operation. We can load the parts via change task now, which will give us the parts that were affected in the change task. Loading the parts can be automated to grab all completed change tasks in a specified time frame if desired. Using the third-party nesting to DXF operation, we can now export all the plate parts in this change task. When examining the plate part DXFs that were sent to the output, we can see that our cutout has been added to the part and the DXF is ready to be added to your third party nesting tool.